I'm going to show in this video how anybody can compost pretty much for free. I want to show you how easy it is for anybody to garden. I don't care if you have a yard. I don't care if you have a deck. I don't care if you have this little tiny place. Here's a tub from the thrift store. Oh, that's a story. Used to pick these things up for $2, go in and buy them. Then they raised it to $4. Now they think they're going to get 10 because somebody's buying all their tubs. It's me. I'm not buying anymore. I got plenty. But anyways, here's a tub, simple, small tub. We drill, drill holes all the way around, but not all the way to the bottom. This way, there's always a little bit of water. So if you forget to water, there's water and it will wick up when you have plants in here. So you get a cheap tub, something that's not going to fall apart really that quick. This is a good tub. And there you are. So now you've got your first planting thing. Very simple, your shredded paper. If you're shredding paper, throw that in there. Everything goes in there. Don't worry if it's all bunched up because to, too close to the top, this will break down. Then the other thing is leaves from the garden. All kinds of leaves, rotted leaves, whatever you're trimming down, you want all that. This is gold. This is your vitamins and nutrients, and this is going to break everything down to wonderful soil. Collect that, put it in your tub. If you don't have a garden, if you don't have any place to get this, even grass clippings, go to your neighbors and tell them you want to clean up their yard and go and take your little shears, the scissors, and go out there and trim off all their leaves. You'll find it. It's out there. It's free. It's everywhere. And that goes in there. Spread that out. Look at that. Every I even have fig leaves in there. Look at that. Everything goes in there. Just do it as layers. Now, kitchen scraps, everything, toilet paper rolls, eggshells, coffee grinds. I use bones if I'm having chicken in mine. You don't have to. Um, my husband's doing this. Let's see if he can pan over for a second and show the one that's got a wire he built up for me. I have a little cage on that one. So anyways, you can put a cage on top if you want to use bones. If you don't want to use bones, you probably won't need a cage. But if you want a cage anyways, you can have a cage belt just to sit on top. All the chicken stra scraps go in there. So that's in there. Now I lost my shovel. There's my shovel. Spread it around. This, this is just wonderful. This will be ready to plant in a matter of a week or two. It breaks down that quick. The other thing you should do, or what I do, I don't want to tell anybody what to do. What I do is I use wood chips. This is wood chips. It's partly broken down. I took it from a pile in the center. Now, I do realize that a lot of people don't have wood chips. So you can go to your store, wherever you want to go, and get some potting soil. Plain old potting soil. Buy the cheapest because you're putting in such good stuff, so it doesn't matter. It's good if you can get organic. Check the label, see what it says. But you just dump that on top. And because I am going to use wood chips, I'm going to dump the wood chips on top. And you spread it around. I'm going to put my wood chips on top because I have it. But if you don't have it, you don't need to. You can get grass clippings when you hear a gardener in your area. Just make sure they're not using Roundup. If you have any doubt that somebody's using Roundup or any type of whatever chemicals on their grass, don't touch it. You want to know that it's chemical free. But that's it. Now, the most important thing with this is you need to water it. So when you just water it lightly, keep it wet. Water is life. If there's no water in here and this dries out, you won't be able to plant in it. Some people think they can leave it like this, come back in a few weeks and start planting. It won't work. Water is life. Just remember that. Nothing really can live without water. So you want to keep this wet and then you're going to be good to go. Now, if you were going to plant zucchini or squash, I'll be honest with you, you can plant today because they just love being planted in this even before it's long broken down because while it's breaking down, they're growing. So that's pretty much it. Anybody can do it. You can do this layering in a small pot. And this, I've done the same thing with a pot like this. Drill some holes. We're in Southern California, so we don't get a ton of rain. So we don't, I don't have to put the holes all the way on the bottom. 
because we just don't get a lot of rain. But if you get a lot of rain, then go ahead and put the holes on the bottom. You can layer it just like this in a pot like this. I've got pots all over my garden, this size, even smaller, and it will grow the same way. So you would put the same thing. If you've got paper, put paper in there. If you don't, don't worry about it. Kitchen scraps, your garden cuttings, go through and, and trim your plants, load that up, put some potting soil on the top if you don't have wood chips of any type, and you're good to go. And it just, it makes the greatest soil. And that's pretty much it. So there's no excuse, and it's free. The paper was free. The wood chips for us were free. The potting soil was not. But you know, if you're doing a small pot, even the 99 cent store has a bag of potting soil. You can get that. So there's so many ways of doing it. You, and the other thing too, which is really good to do, it's gonna be hard to do, is sometimes I actually try to get down to the dirt, and I can't now, because all our wood chips are broke down. Our dirt will have minerals in it. So you can sprinkle some plain old dirt that you know is pesticide free around it and it will add in, it's kind of like rock dust, it's not, but it's, it's kind of like it and it will add in minerals. And so I will go, I'll probably have to look around for some place around here where there's no wood chips and just sprinkle on a little dirt and that's it and you're good to go. Anybody can plant, there's no excuse. And here, like I said, if I was planting zucchini, I could do it now. If I was gonna plant lettuce, um, maybe some dinosaur kale, I would wait maybe one or two weeks before I plant, let it start to break down. If you're in a hurry, dig a hole, put some more potting soil and go ahead and plant and they will grow. They will grow just as good, whether it's broke down or not, as long as you maybe make sure you got enough potting soil, just a few handfuls to get your, let's say dinosaur kale or curly kale or whatever to grow. Mint, you can stick mint in here just like this. Mint will grow in wood chips. You can stick strawberries in here. Strawberries will grow in wood chips. An experiment. You might find something that will grow right away in your broken down, you know, before the compost breaks down. You might find something that grows really good in there. But that's it. It's free. It's ready to go. No excuse. Anybody can plant. Don't forget to eat what you grow.